reference, and we can build a shopping list. So, um, and this is what you're going to do for next week. You're going to have a budget of ten dollars, and we're going to ask everybody to purchase something from each group. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to make a recipe. Just purchase something from each group, and you're going to get enough for four people. Okay, kind of thinking about portions. All right. And you're going to have $10, so that would be your budget for one meal. So it doesn't matter if you do breakfast, lunch, or dinner. But let's, um, you know, you can do whatever you want next week. So you buy for yourselves, and remember, it's Thanksgiving the next day, so you can buy whatever you want. But say this was what we were shopping for. So what would we do for our shopping list? We would say cantaloupe. The cantaloupe was in the produce, right? So we would need one cantaloupe, right? And then the shopping list in your book is really nice because it has a column for the amount and then the item, but it also has a column for whether you have a coupon for the item or if it's on sale. Has anybody ever cut out a coupon and forgotten coupons at home or even just got up to the register and forgotten them? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I mean, I do that with the bottom deposit. They're in my pocket and I don't remember to, you know, redeem the bottom deposit. So you can put in that column, you know, do you have a coupon? And we're going to make that column here. So cantaloupe might not have it. Okay, so oatmeal. We're going to look in our cupboard and see if we need oatmeal for the following week, right? But if not, we need to put in oatmeal, right? And maybe that's on sale, and we got a coupon for it. So I would put the check. And what I would do is I would staple the coupon to the back of my list because, well, I have a really bad memory. Sandra, you know I have a terrible memory. <laughs> <laughs> I bring a... The mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I, when I, okay, this works really well for Costco. You leave them in the book and you mark them. Okay. Little, oh, one yeah. of those little flags. Okay. And then you rip it out and put it in the envelope. Okay. So that when you get to the cash register, all your coupons are in the envelope that you're using. Okay. I don't use one of those little candy things. I just okay. put it in an envelope. Okay. Yeah, and whatever system works for you, the idea is to get a strategy together. You know, how am I going to tackle this and figure out what works for you? Because it's different for everybody, right? Different for everybody. Okay, so if we were doing the breakfast, what else would we have to buy? Eggs. Eggs. Okay. So eggs um, are not in this group, right? No eating bean, right? Eggs. So we're going to get one carton, right? One dozen. No, would you... I, I realize it goes in the protein no. group, but wouldn't you put it in the milk dairy because that's where you find it? Well, if, if, it, if you were shopping and you went by the aisles, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. But I'm just doing practice for, like, shopping for something from each food group for okay. next week. Okay? okay? We're practicing for next week. Okay. Okay. So do we have another food group represented in breakfast? Uh, and that's the fruit. Again, we have fruit. But do we have a different um, food group represented for for breakfast? No, right? So mm -hmm. suppose that we were going to shop for breakfast next week. All right, what can we what can we put for the dairy group? Milk, milk. Well, if I was doing this as my menu plan, I would say I, I'm going to put my my Swiss cheese in there. Okay. All right. Milk. But you could put milk. I was thinking for the oatmeal. Oh, the oatmeal, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. the oatmeal, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then if you were shopping for next week, um, I'm looking for maybe something from the vegetable group. Okay? So what could you buy that was, you know, from your meal plan? You could buy the tomatoes. Sure. Or the, or those, any of the salad fixings. Mm hmm Okay. Okay, the tomatoes, all right? So next week you're going to pick out something from each of the food groups, all right? Now you, all these can be in one meal, right? Like say for breakfast you had sliced tomatoes with, you know, oatmeal, you know, an egg, a glass of milk, and or some fruit, or milk and your oatmeal, right? Okay, that would be your one meal, all right? And then you want to get enough for four people, right? So you want to think about portion size and staying under the ten dollars. Okay? So do you have any questions for this for next week? 
And it's only one meal that we're planning, not a whole day. That's right. It's only one meal. So you can pick. So you can pick the dinner. And we can do our coupons and our list before we. Pick. Right. So you can Bring turn that tent up. Look and see what you have at home. What you can build on. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can you can turn that ten dollars, you know, into twelve dollars, right, by using coupons. <coughs> also, if two people want to shop together, this is a good strategy. We're probably going to go to the market up on Jefferson. So I don't know how that store goes, but some stores, like a big famous chain, has a lot of times two for one. Right. Like they might have a package for two for one chicken. Now, if I couldn't afford the chicken, could I shop with my sister or friend or neighbor mm -hmm. and split the chicken? Mm -hmm. So if two people want to shop together and split the two for one, so say Sandra and I both want the chicken, and the chicken is going to break our budget. Say the package is $7. Mm -hmm. If I put the if we shop together, that means we now have twenty dollars in our budget. Right. So I buy the chicken for seven dollars. She gives me three fifty, right? Because she owes me that, right? But we each get a pack of chicken, don't we? Right. That's a great strategy for saving money. If you guys want to team up, but you can only team up with one person. So I'm not splitting chicken with Sandra and splitting, you know, bread with Gary. Okay? <laughs> All right. But that's a great strategy, right? So take your cell phone. You know, you ask your sister, you know, you give me the three bucks if I buy the chicken for you, and I'll give you a package of chicken. Okay? Mm -hmm. All, right? All right? So no questions for next week? Thank you. All right. I think we're ready to enjoy our mac and cheese. Yay. And here's the strategy of using the coupons on Sunday, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to show up with your list and your meal plan. And if you do, we have a special prize for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's a good price. It's it's a good good. One. Okay. You don't want to miss out. All right. So come with your list. We're going to look and make sure that you're okay with it. Okay. That you did. You know that you have a good strategy and a good list. And then we'll go over and we'll carpool. You know to the market. What we're going to do when we get there is we're going to actually not grab carts. We're just going to go on a tour. We're going to talk about the produce aisle and the 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 meat aisle and choosing you know and what all the <coughs> words mean on the packages. And, um, and then um, some strategies for cooking. Then we're going to do, I think you don't have time for the hunt for this group, right? Mm -hmm. We have a scavenger hunt. We're going to divide you up into groups. Yes, it's a good way to learn. Everybody will get assigned three questions. So we have like three groups basically. So three questions, three questions, three questions. There's nine on the scavenger hunt. Mm -hmm. We'll share them, you know, at another time. So you'll answer the first three. How about you guys work together? You answer the first three. You answer the next three, all right? And then you answer the next three. You work together. We'll do the scavenger hunt. And then the last half hour will be shopping. It'll take about 20 minutes to shop. And then we'll go up to the cashier. And um, I have a credit card, and I'll just like ring you through. Okay, if you go over, you going to be there. I I, th I think so, and if not, okay. then I'll hold the cash. I'll know before. Okay. Okay. So yeah, when we go up there, just like with your budget, I mean, if you go over ten dollars, what's going to happen? Come on, I'll pay. <coughs> yeah, you're going to have to rob Peter to pay Paul, right? It's going to come out of your gas bill or your heat bill or whatever, because with your budget, you know what your budget is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if it, if it goes over ten dollars, comes out of your pocket, right? So if it's even if it's ten oh two, we make you put the two cents in. All right, we do. All right, okay. So come, so everybody come with some change in their pocket, okay? All right, but don't go over, okay? And you can do it. Somebody's done it. People have done it for the little. I just shopped today with one of my classes. Every single person was between nine dollars and forty cents, and nine dollars and like ninety cents. Yeah, you can do it. Was good. Even with the food prices going up. Now, you don't have to make a complete meal, right, like we did here, okay? So it's, if I were you guys and you really want to, it's Thanksgiving the next day, buy some stuff, like you could buy some sweet potatoes, right? Mm -hmm. All right, or whatever you want, you know, and then you can buy whatever else is going to go with your meal. As long as you understand what the food groups are, we're cool yeah. with that, okay? okay? All right? So then we'll swipe the cards and then you're free to, 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 to roam. Okay. All right? Okay. No questions about next week? Cool. So next week we just we plan our own meal. Right? That's right. You're buying what you like. You buy what you're going to take home. We're not cooking. Yeah. All right. Okay. But I'll, I'll tell you, we are not buying ice cream. All right. And we're not buying bacon. Okay. All right. Bacon is a fact. Okay. We're not buying bacon. Okay. So we're going to try to do something healthy. We're going to you know walk around like guardian angels and help you. All right. Good class. Thanks, and um, I think we're going to put it on the blog unless it's, you know, I, you know, so if you guys, we'll send you the links to the OFL blog, so you'll hear your voice when I go. You're famous. <laughs>